Okay, we're going to talk about uh, driven harmonic motion and resonance. Uh, this pertains to uh, situations where uh, in your old Ford car, um, if there's something that, that, if there's a frequency driving um, a motion and there's a loose part, you can hear these uh, jitters and jangles and that sort of thing. So uh, let me demonstrate first what we're talking about here. De demonstration of resonance. This is a demonstration of resonance. I remember uh, way back in West Virginia, I would walk to work with my lunch sack. Uh, as, and as I walked, if the lunch sack was just the right length, it would resonate with the frequency of, of my gait. And some of you may have noticed uh, your bicycles having resonances or your old cars. When you reach 55 miles an hour, things start to shake. That's resonance. That's what we're talking about here. So with this ball, I've got some surgical tubing and a ball attached in the middle. We're going to dem demonstrate resonance. Things don't shake on your old 55 Ford or with the, the bag unless the frequency matches the natural frequency of vibration. And so if I, if I go too slow, then I'm not going to match the natural frequency of vibration of this ball attached to the um, surgical tubing. Likewise, if I go too fast, there's, uh, I'm not matching the frequency either. But if I, if I find that place where the motion of my arm matches the actual, uh, see if I can hit Parker, yeah, maybe not, um, matches the natural frequency of vibration, then I get a large amplitude of motion. That's what happens in organ pipes and on violins and all musical instruments when that frequency matches the natural resonant frequency of the instrument. Okay, I want to define resonance and state when it occurs. Resonance is a condition in which a time dependent applied force. So in the demo, the applied force would have been my hand pulling on the surgical tubing transmits energy to an oscillating object. So in this case, it would have been my hand for the demo. Uh, the object would have been the um, ball between the, uh, suspended by the surgical tubing, leading to large amplitude motion. This time-dependent force uh, is applied at some frequency that leads to large amplitude motion. So as you, as you saw, if, if my uh, the frequency of the applied force was too slow, the ball didn't move very much. If it was too fast, it didn't, didn't move very much. But when I matched that frequency, I could get a large amplitude motion. By large amplitude, we just, means it, we just mean that it moves a lot. It moves a long way. It occurs on the frequency of the applied force matches the natural frequency of oscillation, whatever that is. Um, and we now know what the natural frequency of oscillation is for a mass spring system. It's uh, an angular frequency of, of square root of k over m. And the natural frequency for uh, the angular frequency for a pendulum is square root of g over l. So when those match up, then you get a large uh, resonance. This uh, type of resonance is partially responsible for the 15 meter tides. 15 meters is a long way. That's about, um, well, 15 yards. I mean, think about that on a football field. Um, so the 15 meter tides in the Bay of Fundy, Canada. So here we are at high tide. And look where the water is compared to those rocks there. And then here we are at low tide, um, about a 15 meter difference. And these, uh, this period of tidal flow closely matches the lunar tidal period of 12 hours. So the ins and outs of the, actually it's the moon that's responsible for the tides, but we have a natural frequency in that Bay of Fundy, Fundy that happens to match the, the frequency of the natural tides, or the period. Sorry, the periods match quite well. And you can uh, do the same thing in a bathtub. Um, 
If you scoot back and forth toward the front of the bathtub and the back of the bathtub, a lot of kids do this and get their uh, bathroom floor um, wet. Um, if your back and forth motion happens to match the uh, natural motion, uh, sloshing motion of that water, then you can get a large amplitude and slosh water out of the bathtub. Um, another example of resonance is, is uh, pushing a child on a swing. You want to push that child. So the child goes forward, comes back. You push it uh, every time he comes back to go forward. After he reaches his back most point, while it's, while it's going forward, you push it there. So your, your period of your pushing of that child matches the natural period of the pendulum, and so you can increase the amplitude of the motion. If you don't push at the right time, then you're not going to increase the amplitude of the motion. So I'd like to get, begin, have you begin thinking about the fact that um, when you're pushing somebody on a swing, you're trying to increase their amplitude, the amplitude of the motion. Um, finally, a rather spectacular example of a resonance. This is the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Okay, the, um, the explanation for this uh, phenomenon is that the wind would blow across the bridge and there's, um, there's an instability that causes, just like the instability when you blow against your clarinet reed, um, a puff of air will go over your reed and then under your reed and then over and under. And every other one will go uh, into the instrument which causes the instrument to vibrate at that natural frequency. So a similar thing is happening here. A puff of air goes over the bridge, a puff of air goes under the bridge, and there's a particular frequency associated with that. But the Bernoulli effect, which we'll talk about later on uh, second semester, says that the higher the velocity, the lower the pressure. So you, when that puff of wind goes over the, the bridge, um, there's lower pressure there, and the bridge tends to move in that direction. So that causes an upward and downward uh, motion of the bridge, which caused the collapse of the Tacoma Narrow, Narrows Bridge. Nowadays, um, engineers will definitely take into account the natural resonant frequencies of the bridge and try and make sure there aren't any driving uh, forces that, that could cause it to oscillate at that frequency. 